A Spoon for Every Bite by Joe Hayes, illustrated by Rebecca Lear. A long time ago, there lived a couple who were so poor, they only owned two spoons, one for the husband and one for the wife. Their neighbor was very rich. His big house was filled with fine furniture, and he was very proud of his wealth and his possessions. One year, the poor couple had a baby, and the wife said to her husband, Why don't we ask our neighbor to be godfather to our child? But he's rich, and we're poor, the man protested. Why would he want to be our compadre? You never know, said the wife. He might accept. So the poor man spoke to the neighbor, and the rich man did accept. They took the baby to be baptized, and the neighbors became compadres. One day, the poor woman said to her husband, Now that our neighbor is our compadre, we should invite him to eat supper with us this evening. How can we do that? the man asked. We have only two spoons. So they didn't invite the rich man that day. They saved their pennies and bought a third spoon. Then the poor man invited his compadre to come for dinner. The poor woman made a delicious soup, and when the men arrived, she led the rich man to the place with the shiny new spoon. Sit here, compadre, she said. You get to use our third new spoon. The rich man could scarcely believe his ears. Do you mean to say you own only three spoons, he asked. Until this morning, we only had two, the poor man told him. We bought a new one so that you could join us for dinner. The rich man laughed aloud. You had only two spoons? And you bought a third one for me to eat with? Why, I have so many spoons, I could use a different one each day of the year if I wish to. The poor man was embarrassed. But the poor woman spoke right up. That's nothing, compadre. We have a friend who uses a different spoon for every bite he eats. The rich man shook his head, but the poor man knew what his wife meant. It's true, he said. Our friend uses a different spoon for every single bite he eats. The rich man was so upset by the idea that somebody might live even more lavishly than he did that he couldn't enjoy the soup. That night, he lay awake thinking about it. The next day, the rich man's servant came running to the poor man's house. What did you give my master to eat last night, he demanded. He ate the same thing we did, the tastiest soup my wife has ever made. Your soup must have driven him crazy. This morning at breakfast, he insisted on using a different spoon for every bite he ate. After one bite with a spoon, he ordered me to get rid of it. The poor compadre smiled to himself. And what does your master tell you to do with the discarded spoons? He told me, give them to my compadres. They have only three spoons. At lunch and at dinner, the rich man did the same thing. That night, the servant left a pile of spoons beside the door of the poor couple's house. The next day, the rich man kept asking for a new spoon for every bite. After one week, the servant informed him there were no more spoons in the house. Get me some more, the rich man growled. Do you think I am too poor to buy spoons? The servant bought all the spoons in town, and then he had to travel to other towns to buy spoons. The rich man began selling his livestock and land to buy spoons. A mountain of spoons stood beside the poor couple's house. In a year, the rich man squandered all his wealth, and there were just three spoons in his house. He walked angrily to the poor couple's house and pounded on the door. You lied to me, he roared at them. No one can use a new spoon for every bite. I have proved it. I was the richest man around, and not even I could do that. You're mistaken, compadre, the poor man said. Day in and day out, year in and year out, our friend uses a different spoon for every bite he eats. 
take me to meet this friend? The rich man demanded. The poor couple took their rich compadre to the nearby Indian Pueblo. They went to their friend's house. The Indian and his wife welcomed the compadres and invited them to stay and eat a meal. That's just what I came for, the rich man said. I want to see you use a new spoon for every bite you eat. Spoon? asked the Indian. This is the only spoon I use. He pointed to a stack of tortillas on the table. He broke off a piece of tortilla and scooped up some beans. The beans and the spoon disappeared into his mouth. He'll never use that spoon again, laughed the poor man. Again, the rich man was too upset to eat his meal. He got up from the table and walked home sadly. But the poor couple enjoyed every bite their friends served them, spoon and all. And then they walked home smiling. They knew when they had sold all the spoons the rich compadre had thrown away, they would live the rest of their days in comfort.